my family's uh, been in central St. Croix County ever since my great-grandfather came from Holland in the 1860s. Uh, in fact, one of my dairies, Baldwin Dairy, is on a piece of property that's been in my family now for 101 years. So we're century farm family owners. So, And I think the products we produce here at the dairy, whether it be milk or meat, can profit by the fact that we've got a much lower carbon footprint today than I would have had back uh, when we were milking 60 cows or when my dad was milking 28 cows or my grandpa was milking 13 cows. We've also got an enterprise uh, that uh, makes biogas here on the farm. Uh, that anaerobic digester uh, is affiliated with a company from the Twin Cities that takes that biogas, scrubs it to natural gas specifications and puts it in a pipeline. And I'll be making more energy actually than what these sites use out of that biogas. So really looking forward to cashing in on the investment and time and effort we put in and educating ourselves in making biogas. When we started uh, looking at the biogas um, we also have a venture here at the dairy where we're raising algae as a potential way to, to create enough oil, to create some biodiesel and some other things. So we visited the college several different times and uh, talked to the professors, talked to some of the research scientists down there about how do we create more biogas out of this amount of manure we've got. Uh, are there some specialty bacteria that we ought to be thinking about creating to create more biogas out of the same amount of manure? So, yeah, I'm not uh, at all against picking up the phone and calling somebody at CALS and saying, hey, I've got an idea, can you help me with it? Mm -hmm.